This conference will now be recorded. Hi, uh, good evening. Um, in this video, I will explain the difference between the reserved and uh, received reservation quantities in MMB stock overview. For example, uh, whenever we see this um, stock overview of a material, we see the multiple kind of uh, classes, right? Like uh, under schedule stock, quality, and uh, we have uh, two fields, reserved and received reservation. Okay, when can we get these quantities? And um, when will it will be complete, like for example, it will become zero. Okay, when can it get the quantities? So uh, it's one of the interviews, it was like, uh, it was being asked, what is the difference between the reserved stock and received reservation stock? Okay. So the reserved stock will be updated when there is um, the reservation was created uh, related to goods issue, for example, 201, uh, 221, uh, 261. Okay, for these kind of goods issue related moment types, if there is a reservation is available in SAP for that material and plant com storage location combination, then uh, we get the uh, reserve stock. Okay. For the plant, whatever if your combination or if the plant level or a storage location level, whatever the level it will be created. So the reserve stock will be updated if there is a reservation is available, reservation or requirement is available for the issued goods moments like 201 goods issue for cost center and 20221 for goods issue for a project, a 261 goods issue for order. But these kind of reservations are created then the reserved stock will be updated okay and when the received reservation will come similarly if you have a required a reservation is created for the received for example 501 or 202 262 for these movement types if there is a reservation is available then system will create an entry under received reservation let us test and see the behavior um let us go okay now 10 and 20 are there slash row mb25 i will see any uh open reservations for that material slash and mb25 Reservation list for for this plant and uh, material. Is there any reservation? Open reservations are available. So we can check that. Okay, there are uh, two open reservations are there, and uh, click on reservation. See the display. Ten quantity of uh, reservation is available for two zero one. Okay, let us take this uh, quantities. Go to change. Okay, we can do the either we can do the goods issue, or else we can put this indicator called final issue. Okay, I did the final issue for this. Now refresh. See the reserve ten is disappeared because I have done the final issue. Or else we can do the um, goods issue also. We can do that. If you don't want to do the course issue and you want to close the reservation, then the final issue, what I have shown, right, that you can uh, do that. So how to close the reservation by clicking on the final issue indicator. And uh, if you want to remove the res reserved quantities, okay, after doing that, it will happen. Okay, let us do the second one. One, three, okay. This also we can have the final issue closed it okay now both have become blank let us see now i'm going to create a reservation with mb21 for the moment type 201 for the plant okay and uh center 234 i will keep the quantity of 100 storage location also i can keep it 
save. Now, once we save this, uh, what happened now? Now we are going to see the reservation here. See here, I have mentioned the storage location also in the reservation so that uh, this respect to reservation has come at the storage location level. If I don't mention uh, during the reservation creation, it will be at the plant level. So the reserve has come when I created the a reservation for the 201. Let us create a reservation for 501. Okay, which is a receipt related, I will create for 200 quantity. See here, I'm not mentioning the storage location. You can observe the difference. Refresh. See here, there is a receipt reservation, 200 quantity has come, which is at the plant level, but not the storage location level because I have not mentioned the storage location during creation of reservation. So during the process of uh, when I do the receipt recognition reservation and all, I can mention whatever the storage location I want. Let us take it. Um, what is this one? 73515. I'm going to do the goods receipt. Also, I can do the goods issue. Okay, let us do this goods issue. Finish this uh, reservation. Goods issue. Okay, then reservation. The number is, we don't remember. Okay. So, screens are completed. Okay, here there is a uh, negative 100, right? This is the reservation which is related to goods issue. 73514. I am going to do the goods issue against this reservation. Okay, and uh, like I mentioned, the storage location already. If you want, you can change it. And then the test test process. I have not clicked the item. Okay, let me do that. The metal document is posted. You can display the document. Okay. Now see here, this hundred will be disappeared, and this five thousand will become four thousand nine hundred. See, reserve is disappeared, and five thousand become four thousand nine hundred, and this reservation will be disappeared from the requirement list. See, the total available stock has become four thousand nine hundred, and uh, the reservation is disappeared once it is completed. Okay, so the now you understand that when the reserved stock, what is the reserved stock and what is the received reservation? If there is a received reservation is available, uh, re reservation is available for uh, movement types like 501, 202, 262, 222, for these kind of received movement types, then system will get a quantity under received reservation. And uh, reserve uh, quantity will come when you create a reservation for uh, 201, 221 for these kind of moment types. Okay. I hope uh, this video has given you uh, some understanding and uh, knowledge about the reserve and received reservation. And also we have uh, seen how to issue the stock against uh, reservation and how to create the reservation. Okay, all these details uh, we have seen and also how to see the stock under stock requirement list that the MD04, this one, right? MD04, we can see what are the uh, purchase orders are waiting, purchase requisitions are waiting and reservations waiting. Okay, what is the available quantity and what is the total uh, 
with along with all positives and negatives means uh, waiting for uh, negative reservations issue reservations and uh, receipt like purchase order and all purchase order purchase requisition after considering and all 20550 is available so how to use mb04 and how to create the reservation with mb21 and how to issue a new reservation in migo all these uh, we we have seen in this video okay thanks for your time and subscribe to my youtube channel have a good evening